everybody, how's it going? My name is Liam, and last I checked, this was my hobby room, and I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I've got a very special little video I'd like to share with you with something that I got in the mail not that long ago from Heavy Weapon Systems. Now, if that name sounds familiar, it's probably because you've seen them online, on social media, or if you're like myself and you look for little gunpla bits on Etsy and stuff like that, you've probably seen them there. And to a lesser extent, I did a video on them not that long ago that I'll put up in your right-hand corner here where I highlighted some of their weapon accessories and, and manipulators you can get from there. You can also get all kinds of cool themed Gunpla stuff for your for your customized Gunpla. Uh, definitely check them out. You won't be disappointed. That's hwsystems.ca. I got this really cool Zaku head in the mail. It's a big old Zaku head. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put that together and paint that today, so I thought I'd share that with you. But before we get fully into this video, I just want to do a brief announcement. It's update time! Now, uh, I've been a performer most of my life, and I don't get nervous very often because of that, but I'm kind of nervous about this. Uh, because I recently started a Patreon and a Ko-fi page. Uh, and this is, um, I've always had kind of an awkward relationship with that stuff. I've never felt comfortable really uh, doing it myself, even though I use it to support other creators and whatever. But, uh, I, yeah, anyways, it took some convincing, but some members of the community uh, told me that they would actually like to support me, which is very humbling. Wow, thank you very much. Uh, there's even a private Discord in there, so that's kind of cool if you, if you donate to either of those platforms. But anyways, more on this at the end of the video for now. Let's get back to this, uh, this little special package I got in the post. <laughs> okay. Now, if you're anything like me, you make a thousand projects for yourself, and then it takes a really long time to get through them, and the project list just keeps growing. Uh, so I got this wonderful little package from Heavy Weapon Systems. Uh, Brian, who runs Heavy Weapon Systems, is just an absolute gem. He's an absolute gem of a human being. Love that man. And he sent me this delightful little project here. Look at this. It's a Zaku head. Uh, we're gonna pop this bad boy open. It's lovingly detailed. Uh, full disclosure, I did open this already, so I'm gonna, I, even though I'm opening it here like it's the first time I've seen it, <laughs> I have actually already seen this. But he sent me this lovely little note, which is great. Cute little frog. Love that cute little frog. Bonus points for the cute little frog. And uh, there's also an assembly guide here for the kit. Um, it's, it's a bunch of resin pieces. Super, super cool. They go together very easily. Um, the tolerances are great. Uh, it, it just looks really good. Uh, and then here's a little safety card about resin because he cares about your safety. Isn't that nice? It's nice to meet someone who cares. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. I'll be spraying this down with some Mr. Surfacer just to uh, give it a nice uh, base well, surface and then I'll be doing some sanding on it uh, just to clean it up a little bit for painting. Uh, here is the mono eyes ring. Oh yes, and there's this little baggie here of some smaller pieces uh, that I didn't want to lose. So we've got two uh, mono eyes. Um, so, <laughs> double eyes. Uh, now, I believe they are the exact same piece, just molded, or not molded, sorry, uh, printed in different colors, just in case maybe you didn't want to paint it. I will be painting it, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one I use. Uh, and then here is the little um, exhaust plate for the front of the Zaku 2 helmet. But uh, again, they're tiny. I don't want to lose them, so we're just gonna... Uh, Get these guys back in the bag. There you go, nice and safe. Put you over here for now. And the rest of the head comes apart fairly easily, so it sits on like a stock here, and that also serves as the mono eye track. And then you've got the uh, power cables on the side of the head, whoops, and then the bottom of the head itself. And just like, look at that, man. That's so cool, so cool. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's a little different, which is, is nice too, changing it up a bit. Uh, changing it up from all the Witch from Mercury stuff I've been doing. This little resin kit here has been a nice breath of fresh air. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below to Heavy Weapon Systems website and you can take a look at what they've got on there. You can also find them on Etsy, but I'm pretty sure Etsy takes a cut. Buy directly from the Heavy Weapon System shop because Brian's a good dude. He deserves your support. Man, that's cool. Okay, now let's get to work. So, you know what I really love about Heavy Weapon Systems prints, uh, besides the fact that, that Brian's a, a swell guy, uh, is that they're really nice. The attention to detail is, is, is incredible. Uh, there's a lot of detail, which is, some of you knows isn't always like my thing, uh, but in something this big, uh, I really do enjoy lots of little crevices and panel lines and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's looking a little patchy right now just because I primed it and I've uh, been sanding it down just to make sure um, I get rid of a lot of the uh, layer lines from printing. That's just kind of a, you know, that's just, that's just what printing's got. But yeah, as you can see, per perhaps a little bit clearer now than before when it's just all gray. The camera doesn't really pick that up well. But as you can see, it is a uh, just gorgeous print. Uh, really, really cool. There's, um, there's just a couple scratches, uh, and there, I think there was a crack in it that I might have done because I think I dropped the helmet at one point. I just I can't remember. 
Uh, but yeah, pretty impressed with it. Uh, I'm just gonna stop this thing here. Uh, there's only two pieces on this that aren't attached at the moment, and that is the little uh, vent that goes in the goes in the little mouth there. Yeah. Uh, and then this little attachment here that is for the mono eye. We're just gonna take this hat off, uh, and you can see how how it kind of comes together here. Uh, beautiful prints. I haven't sanded much of the inside of the the helmet because I just don't really think it's that necessary because you won't really see it. Uh, but it goes together uh, just fine. Uh, and I'll be gluing it together when it's all done. I kind of want to be able to... And uh, now I just need a, a giant Zaku body to put it on. <laughs> so Brian, there you go. There's your next There's your next challenge. Also, I really like this cute little uh, monkey face it has on the back. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm a monkey. Ah, uh, that was really bad. Anyways, uh, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm sorry. We're gonna paint this now that it's been um, uh, now that it's been sanded and primed and all, all good to go. And I'll try and do my painting on camera because you know it's kind of a pain uh, and my tripod's falling apart. But we'll just <laughs> we'll just give it a go. Okay, come on, go. Oh, gonna need that. Gonna, gonna need that piece. Let's just take that whole thing. Painting this thing was a lot of fun because it was so big. Just big old chunky pieces, and I'm not really used to that. I paint so many tiny little bits, so this was kind of cool. It was almost novel in a way. I picked a bunch of colors that I thought would represent the Zaku 2, the green regular Zaku 2 pretty well, uh, from the G color line and a bunch of other Mr. Color stuff. Uh, so you'll see me painting this in the background here. Uh, now my painting style's not necessarily very difficult, it's just something I, I kind of fell into emulating the stuff that I saw in these books, Gundam Weapons. They're, they're called modeling books, or mooks? Mooks? I don't know. Though my style isn't nearly as professional as, as these people here. These are very lovely. This is kind of what I was trying to do. So that's my whole style. You can check that out in the upper right hand corner. It's my painting style. It's how I paint. Normally when I'm weathering, I spend a lot of time worrying about accidentally weathering it out of scale and making it look like really toyetic or whatever. But with this, because the pieces are so large, I could just really go to town. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to make it gunky. So I used, uh, I did some acrylic chipping. Acrylic chipping with a makeup sponge there. That's kind of fun. Uh, and then I use some oil paints. Uh, these are some oils that I use like uh, every model kit I've done in the past like couple years. I use these to do all my panel lining and all of my streaking and kind of like tonal changes and stuff like that. Uh, good stuff. What's that on my floor? Ooh, it's a spider. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take him outside one sec. <laughs> now I couldn't resist putting a little Heavy Weapon Systems logo on there. I thought that would be kind of fun. So I just masked it off. Uh, I have a ton of masking tape and you know how much I hate masking, but oh, I did it. I put on my big boy pants and I did it. Now you can see my uh, my uncaffeinated shaky hands just trying so desperately to make a straight line as I as I paint in the, the logo here. Uh, so, you know, maybe I should have had some bit, bit of caffeine, but whatever. I have so many little like Gunpla foil sticker sheets lying around, so I just spray painted one uh, uh, kind of pink um, and then cut out a piece of the silver sticker area and I just stuck it in the Zaku head just to give the mono eye some, some you know, pizzazz. Uh, anyways, this is super cool. I'm gonna take this to work and put it on my desk so I have something cool to look at while I'm there, but I'm really impressed. Really impressed with the level of detail on this sucker. So if you want to pick up one of these guys, check out the description below because there's some really cool stuff on heavy weapon systems. That's hwsystems.ca. Show Brian some love. He's a great creator. He's a great dude. Uh, now there are some other creators I want to highlight. Actually on my website, gunpla.liamshobbyroom.com. Uh, there are uh, just some links to other creators that I really enjoy. I've got a few planned up, but I need to get uh, a couple more kits. I need a Delanza for one, for one little project here. Uh, so I got, I have to find a Delanza somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a fun time working on it because I don't often get to paint things that are so big. So it's kind of nice. So my Patreon and my Kofi, you can, uh, Kofi? Coffee? Co coffee, ooh. I should get some of that. <laughs> so if you want to check out the Patreon and the Kofi that I recently created, there's only like one tier. D donating any amount or signing up to any of these things, uh, you get access to our private Discord where we can just hang out and talk about Gunpla. If you have any questions about customizing Gunpla, if you, you know, want to any random modeling questions, you can hit me up on there. I think it'll be really fun. We can just, you know, just a place where we can just be our nerdy selves. So that about does it for me. I hope you guys stay tuned for the next episode. Take care of one another. Give your moms a hug. Mine's in Spain, so I can't. And I will see you guys next time on Liam's Hobby Room. <laughs>